If you're having trouble building really nice looking apps in Bolt.new, this is a video you've been waiting for. I'm gonna show you a hack that will help you build amazing looking apps in just minutes. If you stay to the end of this video, you are going to go from building apps like this to this. I've been using Bolt every single day for the last four weeks to build products for myself and my clients. This tip I'm gonna show you has taken me from building basic looking applications to amazing looking platforms. All without needing to know how to code. And don't worry, this is only gonna take like five minutes to show you how to do this. And I can guarantee you, this is gonna completely change the way you interact with Bolt.new. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so no longer do you need to actually prompt your Bolt assistant to actually build you the perfect user interface. What I do is I go to dribble.com and this platform has amazing user interface templates created by professional product designers. So you could search up basically anything you're looking to build and there are some really cool user interface templates and all we have to do is screenshot the ones we like, give it to Bolt and then basically ask to recreate something similar. All right, so now I'm inside of Bolt and I actually found a really cool user interface I like. For a note-taking app, as you can see here, I got this on Dribble. Now I'm gonna copy and paste, I'm gonna screenshot this, feed it over to Bolt, and then proceed with my prompt. All right, so here's my prompt, and I wanna mention that obviously if your app is not gonna have the exact same functionality, you need to specify that so that way it doesn't fully copy the user interface because it won't function how you want it to and it'll look all weird. So I said, let's build an app that has a feel of this, but has different functionality. This app is going to be a work session tracker called Focus Flow. It has a timer that acts as a stopwatch to track work sessions, along with the ability to add all tasks completed throughout a session. Bolt now is writing the code. Let's give it a second and see the initial prototype that it actually gives us. And as you can see, it actually gives us an error here. So just, I'm gonna type in here that there's an error in the preview section. It's writing the code again, and it built us this timer app called Focus Flow. The user interface looks nothing like the initial one that we you know, gave it. So I think it must have not understood my prompt when I said make something similar. But I think I need to specify a bit more. So coming back here, screenshotting and basically saying, copy this user interface in the screenshot. All right, so here we go. It actually made a very good copy of this application. You can see we have the left-hand menu, we have good morning, Amanda, we have the tasks, we have the time tracker, and we have the activity. That all looks pretty cool, honestly. So obviously we need to change up the layout of this. It looks like some of the text and the buttons aren't fitting properly on these cards on this app. So I'm coming over to Bolt and saying the layout of the timer looks weird. It doesn't fully fit on the screen just to fix this and make this work properly. All right, it looks like it fixed it. it work, it's working a bit better. We can actually add a task and then we could complete those tasks during our session. We could stop a session, but there's just a couple other things we need to switch here as far as functionality and user interface. All right, so I'm telling our assistant to now add the ability to end a session along with store all the sessions after completed with the tasks completed along with the session length. All right, so it actually built us this. And again, the time tracker looks a bit odd. So I'm actually telling our Bolt assistant that it looks a bit odd, maybe add it on its own row. And that way it could stretch out and not be crammed. So you still need to play around with kind of the user interface a bit, but using the templates from Dribble gives you a really nice idea of how you want your app to look. And it also kind of gives Bolt an idea of what you want it to look like as well, instead of having to explain it over like typing it. 
Real quick, I got a question for you. Do you want to build a software product with Bolt.new? Are you having trouble building it yourself? Well, I just launched my Bolt.new development agency and my team can help build it for you. Bolt is great for building rapid prototypes. However, turning it into a deployable SaaS product is really hard. With that being said, if you want to speak with my team about us building your app from start to finish, fill out the form in the description. All right. I look forward to helping you build your dream app, but let's get back to the video. All right, so this actually looks amazing. We added the time tracker uh, kind of part of our application here to its own row. We have the tasks up top along with the activity. This looks really good. As you can see, I'm starting the stopwatch. I'm adding the tasks that were completed. I ended the session, and then you could even see the session history below the time tracker there. Let's go back to Dribbble and just look at the user interface and see if there's anything else we want to emulate on our application. So after taking a look, I actually really like this activity part of our application here. I like the black layout of it along with the colors where it shows the working hours, tasks completed, and the projects completed. So let's try to emulate that a bit. I took a screenshot handed that over to Bolt, and they basically said, I like how this looks in the screenshot. Maybe make the session history look something similar to it. Boom, there we go. Looks like it now changed the session history to black. We could add our tasks. And then once we end our session, you could see the different completed tasks in the session history there. I think that looks pretty cool. We could really build upon that if we would like. Now, let's just play around this a bit. So where it says, good morning, Amanda, up at the top, I'd like to add the ability for you to type whatever you want as a theme of the day. Think of this as an interactive user experience to customize it to keep goals in the front of their mind. So I've seen this on other softwares. I really like the idea. So imagine being able to type up at the top kind of what your goals are for the day or for the week or what your mantra is for your business. So that way you could always keep it in the top of your mind. Going ahead, writing the code. I honestly love Bull. Every time I play around with this application, I'm just blown away at how good it is. So it looks like underneath that, we could actually add what is our focus for today. Right here, I'm writing content equals leverage just to keep that on the top of my mind if I don't feel like creating content. And then now I'm telling it to let the user also edit where it says, good morning, Amanda. So that way, if your name is not Amanda, obviously it's not going to say that. So now I could actually change it. It says, good morning, Brock. We could change our mantra for the day. We could add our tasks. We could start our timer. There we go. Once we end a session, you could see the session history below. This all looks amazing. And then now finally, let's just say, allow me to collapse the menu on the side. So if you see on the left-hand side, there's this kind of menu that's sticking out with different tabs that we don't necessarily use. We could either delete those or we could just hide that. So for now, let's just make it so we could actually collapse that. So we don't always have to see that. All right, there we go. This application is looking really awesome. Now let's go ahead and let's deploy this application. All we have to do is come up to the top right hand where it shows the blue rocket. Click deploy and it'll start deploying our application and it'll even give us a link to view this in a web browser. If we click this link, it takes us to a full new tab on our web browser. This application looks amazing. I built this in really just about like 10 minutes, if that, probably eight minutes in total. It doesn't function exactly how we want it to, but the user interface of our platform is basically finished. Now we could just change any of the functionality we would like, which should be pretty easy. But I wanted to show you guys this hack because I've been using this for all of my applications that I've been building with Bolt. I have no technical knowledge. I have no technical background at all. I've just been using Dribbble as templates. I basically copy those user interfaces and it's been performing really well for me. So I thought you guys could really enjoy this. With that being said, guys, if you like this video, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. I'm creating Bolt content daily. So if you wanna stay up to date with how you can code your own software applications with no coding experience at all, this is the perfect platform for you. So make sure you are subscribed. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.